Hey, Orange One here. So uh, we got Diathma here that is being sieged or was being sieged by these guys. Uh, they honestly, uh, actually, were they sieging? No, they were just kind of running around nearby. Um, we're still recovering. We're still like totally, totally, totally full of like really not great troops. Uh, but that doesn't really matter when you've got number Take advantage like this. On. So um, we'll just get a little bit of experience ourselves. And we'll see where we go from there. Honestly, um, it's been a little while since I played uh, Battle Lord. I've been really getting back into Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Like, honestly, I've been having so much fun with like the mutag mutagen and the mutant characters in that game. Like, I made a, a bear mutant. And it, it's been really fun just seeing him just like ripping through uh, zombies. Like, by the way, I'm. I'm saying, like, not my my own character in game. Like, we literally turned like a cyborg that we found in a lab into a bear mutant using mutagen. Right? It's insane. You, so, I, like, I hope you understand why I'm like, man, I really just want to play that. <laughs> like, I love Banner Lord, but you know, I think a lot of people haven't been watching this because it can be pretty repetitive, the battles and whatnot. Though I think it's kind of cool to see the bigger picture wars. I do find that entertaining. Okay, there's still a lot of these guys. A lot more than I thought there were. Okay, we got one of them. Oh. Got hit. Hit the tree. That was a pretty good hit. That almost killed him. Okay, we have a lot less of them now. We are uh, slowly, slowly rolling them down. There we go. Aww. <laughs> I feel kind of bad about that one. Oh. The nice thing is about fighting horse archers is we can do this. Um, it looks like, yeah, it's pretty chill right now. Okay. Um, never mind. I thought I was in the clear. Okay, I think... Oh, nope. I just picked up the, a different bow. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, get the sword back. Okay, here we go. Nope, do not go! <laughs> there, that's that's what I wanted to do. It took a little bit longer due to us picking up the wrong thing. Oh, come on. There. So if I do that, I can, I can really prolong my, uh, I want to say like, uh, combat readiness, because uh, I'm thinking like Star Sector, but like, you know what I mean, like, I can, I can be effective in combat a lot longer. There. Okay. Took me a little while to get them, but I think I comboed quite a few of them there. <laughs> oh man, I do love me some horse combat. It's just kind of, you know, like, I just kind of zone out a little bit. Oh man. Okay, I think that we could probably end it, but if we can get one or more, two more kills, then get that experience. I think we need, like, every kill that we can get experience-wise, and, I mean, you get money for prisoners. So maybe that would help our companions. Yeah, it's probably fine either way. I was thinking about the the army of people that are with us. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, build those relations. I mean, what I've realized is every time you siege a place, people tend to really hate you for that. Can't blame them. But, um... Basically, I've been sieging a lot, so a lot of people don't like me, unfortunately. Does anyone get bothered by the sound that that makes? And it's like, it, it almost sounds like it's like squishing to me. I'm going to take all of those because I want me some more cavalry. It always makes you go faster. The more Kuzates you can stick in your, your army, the better, in my mind. 
I might do a Kuze, uh Let's Play after this. I'm not sure. I, I kind of want to do the Vlandians. Um, or Batanians. I'm probably gonna go with Batania because I, you know, I gotta make my ancestors proud. Because I, uh, I think I've talked about this on, on this, uh, series before, but I may not have. Um, I'm, like, British, like, 99%, um, well, not, you know, 99% British, but 99% Northwest European, which, like, you can't really say you're British, genetically speaking. It's not really a thing. It's, like, it's the same as like French or Irish genetically and like culturally sure it's a very different thing I get that and I wouldn't disagree with that but we're more than just our traditions aren't we right uh, let's see um and this is a fish village right so sure I'm gonna buy the fish I mean, it's not a great price for, for fish. Oh, no, never mind. I, I was buying things like how I used to. Can't do that. Not quite. There we go. Looks good to me. Um, so I think we were kind of doing a similar thing last time, but we're going to be trying to maybe uh, disrupt them a little bit and get more recruits. I think that we've kind of drained all of the recruits out of this area. So I think uh, we we do need to go like to Poros kind of area to get more recruits. So I think I am gonna take this quest and head down there. And they may actually not have more recruits um, down there, but I think they will. I'm hopeful. But we got a lot of horses just then. Uh, so go over there and we'll make our way down to Poros. Okay, yeah, we just got crushed out in the open. It looks like this. Sorry, just got beat by the Kuzates. Um, I think that that was the people that I was around, so uh, I gotta be careful around here. There may be a big old stack just around the corner. I'm just gonna slow it down. Zion, where is that? Uh, if I go to... It would be nice to be able to, like, click on that. Oh gosh, what was it called? I don't know if there's a way to check like the log that has come down here. Like if you go to like J and quests, no, there's nothing like a log of messages. There used to be that in uh in Warband. That was really useful. I'm missing it now. There's a couple features like that where it's like, why do you not have this feature from the old game in here? And I assume it's that they have a better feature that they're working on that they're going to bring out, but, you know, I don't really know that, <laughs> which I don't like not knowing. Okay, let's go to Sanopa. Uh, hopefully we can sell this fish at a profit, but I think... I may have done this last episode and that we weren't able to do it at a profit, but I bet if we go down to Poros and keep on going that way, we'll find something. You know, I think that we're we're not losing as much ground as I thought we would by now. Um, given the fact that I, I lost that battle, that huge battle. What was that two episodes ago? I thought that they would have taken some cities back from us uh, due to that, but as far as I can tell, that's not been the case. I don't see any mercenaries. I mean, you're... Oh, you are actually a mercenary. Okay. That guy looks like the character that I used to have in uh, the multiplayer beta before the game came out. Oh yeah, look at this. The fish I can, I can sell for a pretty good profit, actually. Sweet. That's actually... a a really nice profit, especially considering our limited capacity. Um, we're delivering horses and we don't even have the herd uh, message. So I think we need to up our game with the horses. We'll get a few more mule as well. Sure, we'll get, we'll just go all out and get all those horses. 
and I'm not sure if it's just not displaying yet, like it's not been updated or something, but um, if I K on, or I'm going to go here, because I think this is more kind of central to us, so it's probably more secure. I don't know, though, to be honest. I have no idea. Um, They're besieging that castle. I'm going to just kind of hang out in the city then as they go by. Oh, wait, what? Okay, I guess we're at peace with the Kuzates. All right, well, Sturgia, prepare to be crushed. I honestly don't even care when we have kids being born. <laughs> um, I'm going to follow that army, though. Maybe wait a little bit more just to let us heal up just a little bit more. Okay, we'll stop waiting. Uh, maybe I'll pick up some goods as well while we're here. That grain actually is at a half decent price. I'll buy some of that. And. I don't know. Maybe some sheep. Yeah, we'll get the sheep. Sounds good to me. We'll follow that guy's big ol' army. I need to be careful though. Because he could be. He was going to. He was going to this castle? Are they still are they at war with the Kuzates? Was that like I didn't realize that it was like a three-way war, like we were at war with someone else, who was at war with someone else. I think that that's what's going on. Well then I honestly don't need to worry about that. Oh, Northern Empire? You guys even I guess you still do have cities. Oh, I didn't go to Poros, hold on. Yeah, I don't need to worry about that army, so I need to go to Poros. I totally got distracted. I'm sorry, I do that all the time. People have told me this before. That I can't maintain a coherent, um, like, mission objective in an episode. Um, I mean, I, you know, I think that I do, um, in some games but it's hard when it's like a sandbox game because you have to reassess constantly you know like you're constantly like hey do i want to do this do i want to do that um what's really my best option here and then you get new information or you get like a new tool or something and then you gotta just be like okay well actually i'm not doing that at all um yeah this is another green village we'll just keep on making our way over to poros how long do I have to get to... Wait, what? I have one day? Okay, so you basically gave me a quest that was impossible. Because there's no way that I'm completing that in a day. I'm going to take this quest, honestly, just for the troops. I Most of the time, I'm not successful with it. Sure. I don't know if it's one day, like exactly one day from now or if we've got like a day plus because if it's a day plus we might be able to make it but i don't think so yeah it's gonna take us about a day to get there is what i'm estimating we're gonna if if we fail this right when we get there man i'm gonna feel so dumb about going to all those villages we could have been a lot more direct about um, getting down there. That being said, though, it's like we didn't take that long, I and mean, we're going nearly five. That's not slow. Uh, it's a nail biter. It's a nail biter. It's getting to the end of the day. It's getting to the end. About to. Okay. Uh, who was it that I was delivering to? It's literally zero days. Uh. Harry Owl. Oh, okay. I, I thought I. When I saw Harry, I don't know why, but I thought that you were a man. <laughs> Which is kind of a weird thing if you think about it in our society that we do that. Yep. Because it's like we're mammals. We all are hairy. You know, like we have more hair on our face, sure, but not the case for all men. And there are women with hair on their faces, too. 
Um, I mean, all women have hair on their faces, just some have more visible hair, you know. I think that, you know, I was talking with, I think it was, um, someone from my old work, and they told me that, like, um, there's pockets where, like, uh, it's a social norm to have, like, a facial hair as a woman. Like, that's totally normal, you know? Which, you know, it shouldn't weird me out, but it does. I, I know that I should be like, eh, you know, people just do things differently in different parts of the world. But I think that's a constant struggle, you know. Trying to not be like, eh, wow, those olives. What? Why would I buy that? I can sell the sheep for a good amount of profit here. Um, I'm... How many more can I sell? Sure. Maybe I'll take one one of them back. Because I think that... I don't know if it affects, like, the profit margin if you don't get all the gold that you should be getting. It probably does. I mean, if I was looking at how good of a trade you did, like, if you don't get the gold, you don't get the gold, you know? Uh, can I get to that hideout before that closes? No, I can't. So what I'm thinking is, um, now that we're kind of, kind of in friendly territory, is that we could, um, let's see, it's not got a lot of troops to recruit here. I mean, that's got a lot of mountain bandits right there. Honestly, we could, like, hunt mountain bandits. That probably won't be the worst move. I think I might just, uh, start harassing armies in their territory. Let's see what uh, goods you got. Not the best. I mean, I could probably sell you some of our grain, honestly. With that price on grain? No, you don't have a good price. Okay. Yeah, let's go uh, let's see who we can, we can bother. Make, uh, make people look over their, their shoulders a little bit more in the Sturgeon. Uh, cities that are very far south like honestly like everyone that always says Sturgia does bad in their games they have done fairly well um actually you know what we're gonna start working towards uh these quests Marinath and Epicrotia so oh that's why that was marked um, well, that one's not friendly to me, so I'm gonna make my way towards Marina. And we'll maybe, maybe I'll get more horses here. I don't have the herd modifier. Maybe I'll go kill those looters. We'll definitely get these guys, though. Thank you. Yeah, this, these looters, I think, are going to just be a little snack. I, I don't really want to fight them, but I feel like it's always good to see a little headshot, right? Follow your sergeants. It's just like we haven't really had any combat in this episode. I mean, there was that thing right at the very beginning, but aside from that, we haven't really had any combat. And, you know, this stack is easy to catch. And our units all suck. I love the hair that some of them have. <laughs> you know, like the big froze, man. It's awesome. It's like not white person hair, you know, but it's like on like all these white characters. I mean, there's white people that have pretty big frizzy hair, but you know what I mean. Like, there's. There's definitely some hair that looks like, definitely like frizzy black hair. And then it's just put randomly on character models, which let's be real, most of the character models in the game look white. I, uh, I'm pretty happy though with the racial diversity that they have in this game, um, that you can have like models be. Like there's definitely like clearly European, but then there's also like, um, 
definitely like with some Kuzates where you can see them, you're like, yeah, that guy looks a little bit Mongolian. Um, I mean, maybe not so much with that guy. But this Sari, you definitely look a little bit, uh, a little bit more Middle Eastern. You know, like there was definitely like a different uh, things that they're pulling for from the different ethnic groups. And take the looters because it's, they'll eventually be recruits for me. We gotta start getting back on that cha uh, chain of just getting a ton of recruits that way. Uh, Marinath, if I can go by that village on the way, that'd be nice. Uh, that 42 stack was tempting, but we'll we'll just um we'll hold off on that just for a little bit longer. Yeah, I mean we've got 15 prisoners now. It looks like, and it, that was at 30. So I think we've recruited 15 dudes from that. So like, there's nearly 10% of our army, right? All these people don't like me. I must have done some war crimes <clears throat> around here or something, you know? Yeah, this is pretty close to where I was just running around here. I, I definitely raided that place. Is that just, like, stuff melting? Wait, hold on. I just, I think the season just changed. I don't know. I feel like I'm going crazy. You know, I haven't really been taking note of that enough, is like, when does things get uh, snowy? And I think it never gets snowy near the Sari territory, which is good. I think they did a really nice job with simulating the right uh, weather patterns for the right times of year. And there's things like that that people just, they don't appreciate. Like, I think Pale Worlds did a really good job in building this, like, immersive world like this. Um, in terms of like those mechanics with the weather. Oh, <laughs> there's some pretty good units in there too. That was not anything to laugh at. I, I literally just laughed at it. So <laughs> it's moments like that where I'm like, man, as a non-native English speaker, people must be so confused when I'm like, not something to laugh at. And I literally just laugh, was laughing at it. You know? Um, I think these places probably still don't like me. Legata, I think they are pretty cool with me. So I'm going to go over to Legata. I, uh, no, nah, we'll go get those looters. I'm sorry. I'm being indecisive. There's that group of like 30 something looters that was done here. Yeah, and I was thinking about going over here to go over to these villages anyways. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll crush you. I'm not, I'm not going to play it this time. Not worth it. Not worth my time. Well, maybe it was worth my time because we just lost 10 units. Just kind of a shame. But hopefully we've got better units because of it. Um, it's fine. Go here, and let's see what we've got going on here. You know, if uh, our castle had prisoners, I might be able to pull some prisoners out from there and make them recruits. But I don't know how that works. I don't know if you can take prisoners out. And I don't think I can even see any prisoners in there. So I don't think there are any prisoners in there. Um, What do you want? You want your daughter found? Yeah, I would like to do that quest for you, but I think you hate me. Yeah, you you won't let me do the quest for you. Not even worth talking to you. It's funny, the Northern Empire has declared war on us. Like, really? Of, yeah, I don't know. At this point, the Northern Empire should just... If, like, if this was, like, a true, like, 4X game, they would become, like, a, a vassal state of another empire, you know? Oh man, that'd be so cool if you could do that. If you could like vassalize other uh, parts, like certain lords, you know, instead of them being like um, actually part of the faction that they are, they have some autonomy as their own kingdom. 
So they have to like pay taxes and stuff. And then like, you know, like you could go war on your to war on your vassal, but they're protected from other people. And, like that that could be pretty darn cool. Like they could really um, go bananas with that if they wanted to. Marineth, we're close. We're getting there. We're gonna go talk to that dude that's hanging out there. Thirty-three forest bandits. If I can uh, kill them, I'm gonna actually fight this just because I want to be as strong as I can to take out thirty-three forest bandits. Because they're gonna kill Sergeant, probably yeah. at least thirty people, if not more. Like forest bandits are, oh, they're really tough units. I think that if we outnumber them like six to one, we'll definitely win. We're probably gonna bleed a lot though. We'll, we'll get these guys first. And these guys are super easy. This is literally me just trying to minimize how many casualties we have because nobody should be dying against looters. Like really nobody should be dying. It's absurd that someone dies to these stone throwing little weird haircut dudes. Like literally the crazies of uh, the the Bannerlord world of Calradia. You know like in the modern day, how we have, like, people who are just, like, attacking others because, like, they're, you know, unfortunately have mental health problems. That's these guys. Which makes me actually kind of feel bad <laughs> about how uh, people cheese them for experience. Um, yeah, I've heard that their, their cavalry is pretty bad. So the mercenary troops. I've heard that you want to go uh, ranged with them typically. Um, no recruits. Uh, bandit base near... Uh, is that going to be a crazy overpowered one? I think he hates us so much he won't even let me do it. But if I go kill, clear out the bandit base then maybe people would like me. Let's, uh, let's maybe take these guys out. I think, you know, I'm getting deja vu because I feel like when we took Legata, uh, we cleared out that base. Or did we... No, we were clearing out the people that were, like, hanging out around there. How many prisoners do you have? I feel... I didn't see prisoners, but I feel like they have prisoners. Yeah, you guys are, are going down. I mean, it, luckily for us, they're not all the um, the tough ones. The ones with like the really good bows. We got a couple bushwhackers and free lancers, I think. And I think it's the um, the actual like woods bandits that are, I think, tier five units. They're pretty nasty. Yeah, shoot at me, not my friends, please. I will gladly uh, take your your shots. Yeah, that that's that big boy right there in the back. He's the he's the big boss. Oh no, I totally like freaked out. There we go. He's the forest bandit. Okay, yeah, we've got the numbers to the point where they're just they have to retreat. Oh, not freelancers. They're free booters, which is kind of, what is a free booter? I've never heard that before. I mean, I'm, I'd imagine it has something to do with, like, people, like, living off the land or something. Like, wandering around. Like, their boots are free to go where they want. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well. We got nine of them, it looks like. Seven of them. Okay. I will take seven. I could have sworn we just saw nine there. Man, if we can get the, those to be our archers, we'll have a good uh, team of archers. We have so many lords, like, honestly. Kind of crazy. Uh, that is a fair amount of forest bandits, actually. 
36 for forest bandits. I mean, I can definitely do it. I just would... I would maybe have to do it multiple times. Like, I might not be able to do it my first time. I would like it if more of them left that hideout and went wandering. I don't think that's going to happen. But we can hope. And we're only at 130 myself. I feel like I've just like forever been trying to get units. But they're getting more confident as well. So I need to keep that in mind. It's not just a numbers thing. It's how uh, how effective they are. I could make uh, a joke about, you know, size and not mattering. Uh, I've gone and already made the joke. I was going to say, but I'm better than that. And then I went and... Yeah. I done goofed. Uh, 145? Okay, we're getting, we're getting there. Okay, don't go to war with me while I'm making my way over there, please. That would be really unfortunate. Like, I would legit be pretty irritated. I was gonna say upset, and I'm like, uh, I don't know if that's the right word. Sure, if you'll let me, I'll do this quest for you. I don't think I went up here when I was raiding. Yep. Sure. I'll get you access. And then you'll you'll give me all the units, right? Wait. Oh, these are Batanians. I just didn't recognize them because I haven't really done much with the Batanians. Yeah, this village I just saw was like right there. I was like, oh man, I'm definitely doing that. What's that hideout? I might want to try doing a hideout, but we're I'm also looking at the time. We're just a little bit over. I do want to... Um, Oh, is it this person's trying to talk with me? Yeah, that's the way I was. Yeah. Too bad. Yep. Call me rich and greedy all you want. I probably should have tried to recruit troops here first. <laughs> Before doing that. Before burning bridges. Yeah, that would have been the smart thing to do. We're definitely going for the skirmishers. I think those uh, battalions always go ranged, essentially. Which actually matches my playstyle a fair amount. I do like going ranged personally myself. That kind of makes sense. Yeah, that dude will give me uh, just some volunteers. Okay, whatever. I'm cool with it. Well, we're pretty much there so i'm thinking we'll probably start the next episode just right where we end here i don't know man those cities are so close to each other i hadn't really taken that in they are like literally just like right there and there so i'll just go up here and recruit because i'm gonna go to the other city in a second anyways and i want to do just a quick trade because i know i can make some good money uh, sure. Actually, that's... Okay, cool. Alright. I will do it. Um, I don't know if I should be doing that, because we probably need the food for the war effort, but... Eh, it's fine. I mean, we're not actively fighting in the war right now. We're just, like, in neutral territory. Neutral land. So I think that we're okay. Right? Okay... That looks good. I'm just, yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna end here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.